If you already have the Limbic Arc technology on your cell phone, or if you're even looking at it right now, the information I'm fixing to share with you today uh, regarding remote boosting will absolutely be the most exciting thing you've ever seen. It'll take your, your Limbic Arc uh, technology to a next level. And I'm talking about a level that <laughs> way beyond what you probably can even begin to understand right now. Uh, but it's going to be exciting to learn. It's called remote boosting. Okay. But let me say this one thing. If there is, um, if there is one thing that I've said about this technology, it's every once in a while, sometimes in a generation, sometimes longer, there is an idea, a development, a leap of progress so fantastic, seemingly improbable, even impossible, that shatters all preconceived notions of what is possible, what is real. It blurs the line between science and magic, between fact and fiction. It usually changes the world in a very big way. Folks, this is Olympic Arc technology with the remote boosting capabilities for sure. You've just got to see this technology, okay, and what I do to make this happen. First off, nothing that I will be covering is meant to be used, nor should it be used, to diagnose or treat any medical condition. For the diagnosis or treatment of any medical problem, you should consult your own physician. I mean, get a life. Go do it. Don't, you cannot use this technology to diagnose, and it would be ridiculous if you did. It is also important to know that Dr. Von Cook does not yet recognize remote boosting as a viable option using the Olympic Arc app. And in most cases, if you were to ask any of the good people with the consumer support line, they will tell you that Olympic Arc was not de designed to send the boost to anyone other than the owner of the app. Well, fortunately, that belief can be quickly, and I might add easily, um, dispelled by following my instructions on exactly how to remote boost someone other than you. Trust me, do not doubt me on this. You will be able to do this, and it will change your whole future. Being able to remote boost someone to no matter where they are in the world and have them experience an almost immediate improvement, if not a complete elimination of their symptoms of discomfort is a, is, is a powerful tool in recruiting and probably the most rewarding activity you've ever done. It's, it's so much fun. It's just exciting and entertaining that I seek out people in an attempt to find anyone that is in pain so that I can demonstrate the remote boosting. I've done waitresses. I've done people at, at, uh, the, uh, at the bank, the counter people at the bank, and they just are amazed that shoulder pain just sort of disappears in a matter of minutes. How I discovered that the Limbic Arc will do remote boosting comes from 15 years of working with quantum energy wellness products with hundreds of other our, our clients being from other countries that we've never met but had remarkable recoveries from sending boosting of a quantum energy related technology. What happened specifically was I had just gotten the app downloaded to my phone and I was excited about the technology and the business. I went over to a dear friend of mine's house to share with her both the business and the technology and she looked at me quite skeptically and said well if there is anything to do if it, well if this has anything to do with quantum energy you ought to be able to redirect the boost to me to get rid of the pain in my back well trust me i, I knew quite well that arguing with this uh, that my friend was out of the question so i hesitantly though i didn't reveal that emotion said i can't agree with you um i can't di I disagree with you on that one and then proceeded to mentally focus on my friend and all the while sending three types of boost and much to my surprise, all of her pain went away in less than 10 seconds. She stood up and her partner said, Elaine, you need to look at yourself in the mirror. You're standing up straighter than you've ever stood up. Needless to say, they both signed up to receive the app and have been quite happy since. Almost as if I had access to a brand new toy, I went over to another friend's house who had happened to, at the time, to have, a, to have had a serious, consistent headache, serious at that, and she had had for nine days. And as soon as I clicked the pain relief boost button, she said, that's weird. I can already feel my face relaxing. And within 30 seconds, her headache of nine days was completely gone. Since that day, I've had the thrill of doing remote boosting on at least 80 people in now three countries. Most of the remote boosting I've done has been over the phone with most people I've never met. I've gotten the impression that our quantum field, as well as those uh, I am boosting, are quite intelligent and connected to all that I am doing. Just how that works is way beyond my understanding. In other words, it's above my pay grade. In other words, fear not. There will be many who will indeed be greatly, uh, excuse me, um, 
Anyway, I'm clueless, but then I'm clueless on something else. You see, I jumped out of the air. I jump out of airplanes as a sport, and I have clear understanding of the mechanics of gravity. It's really quite simple if you think about it. I go out the door, I go down. Going back up was not an option in skydiving. Here's the interesting thing, though. If you were to ask any scientist familiar with the study of gravity, what specifically it is that causes gravity to act the way that it does, their patent answer is, we really don't have a clue. So I don't lose any sleep over not knowing just how the two quantum fields communicate with each other. I'm satisfied in just knowing, and more importantly, having proof that they do. The purpose of remote boosting is to give your friend, family member, or just the person that you've recently met a taste of what all the technology can do. It's a little different than boosting yourself in that when doing you, you're act activating the boost and leaving it on for a much longer period of time. So why is it that when you are remote boosting someone, you seem to have a much greater response than when boosting yourself? And by the way, you will. I'm not entirely certain, but I'm willing to bet it has a whole lot to do with your intention. In other words, let me tell you something. Quantum physicists will tell you intention changes quantum energy. Matter of fact, their definition of quantum energy is pure potential to be anything that you want it to be. In other words, you're in, intending on getting a quick and amazing response from another person, but with you, you've got a lot longer to experience it, but that's really only a theory. You will notice, though, that for the most part, those you are remote boosting will have a quicker and surprisingly more amazing result, but don't be discouraged about that. It all works out, I promise. The inevitable question. Uh, will arise. How long will my discomfort stay away? <coughs> well, that's a, a perfect time uh, to re-emphasize what it's all about because it tells me that they didn't quite understand what I told them. So here's what I say. It's important for you to understand that this was not a Benny Hinn or Roberts Rex Humbard healing signal. The limbic arc works by boosting the information of the nutrients that were in the specific boost to your cells and the body will use up those nutrients as it would normally use them. Everyone is totally different because some will have uh, little in the way of problems that the body has to deal with so their discomfort may stay away for days or may never come back. With others that are dealing with more significant health challenges, it may only stay away for a couple of hours. In either case, there's no permanent nutrient. All the nutrients will be utilized and the body will need more to sustain the recovery, which is, you know, of course, really good reason to get the app. Here's what I say prior to actually boosting someone. I'll tell them, every nutrient that you take, whether it be by vitamins, mineral, uh, whether it be vitamins, minerals, essential oils, or even herbs, either by eating it in the meal or by way of a pill or juice at the end of a digestive system, it becomes nothing but energy. This we've known for decades. We also know that each individual nutrient has a specific code of information that is absorbed and then is distributed to every organ, muscle, joint, tendon, and nerve by way of the microvascular system. We have two problems with this process. Our digestive system is in most cases seriously compromised due to eating meat with antibiotics and then killing the good bacteria needed to break down the food to absorb. Uh, to be absorbed. And even the American Medical Association admits that up to 85% of the reason for having such difficulty in recovering from injuries and illnesses can be directly traced to a compromised microvascular system. There's a good chance we're not getting anywhere near the nutrients that our body needs. The Lipid Art Company has been able to extract this specific code of now over 150, almost 160 nutrients, and have placed the code on the cloud in the form of a library that we can access by way of a cell phone app acting much like a library card, and have the code of any one, all, or packages of nutrients boosted into our quantum field that then, that then puts them directly in the cells of our body instantaneously. Or, and as I say, in a remote boosting, I can redirect it by just simply mentally focusing in on the person I'm speaking with. You may not be aware, but quantum physics, virtually the most validated science on the planet, has proven time and time again that energy that the energy that makes up each of us stretches to the outermost parts of the universe. In essence, our quantum field is as much here where we are as it is at the same time on the other side of the universe. If you were to ask a quantum physicist how this could possibly be, their patent answer is, we don't have a clue. We know the mechanics of quantum energy, but don't have a clue what it is that causes that which happens to happen. That may sound somewhat strange, but it's quite normal. For instance, we understand clearly the mechanics of gravity, but if you were to ask any scientist what specifically causes gravity, they'd tell you they don't have a clue. 
To prove my point, I want you to rate the pain that you currently have as a 10. And by that, I mean 100% of whatever pain you have is the 10 that I'm referring to. 10 does not represent the worst pain you've ever had. It represents the current pain that you have. With 10 being the pain that you have, have zero is no pain. I'm going to boost you over three packages of nutrients to you, and a few seconds after each boost, I'm going to ask you where your pain is rated. I don't want to hear, it feels better. I need a number. Do you understand? Great. Folks, let me tell you something. You, you're going to be really surprised on how well you, you, know, you, you explain the zero to 10, and just as soon as you get through with that, they'll say, well, it's a six. No, no, no. It's a 10. Whatever pain, oh, oh, so, I mean, they'll just, it's like, you know, their eyes are on the back of their head because you finally had to explain to them again. Anyway, it makes sense to me, it just makes sense that the greater job that I do in getting their subconscious mind engaged, the more seamless the process of boost will go. It's been my experience that the ones where I had little to no results, and that's been only a few, it's been with people who are really not into paying attention as I was talking to them, it was almost as if I could feel their subconscious shut me out. The more remote boosting that you do, the more you'll get a handle on how to ensure that they are paying attention. Trust me. Um, the reason that uh, the the reason remote boosting that you do, the more you'll get a uh, wait a minute. The really surprising thing that you will notice is that after you get rid of an annoying symptom that they have for years, uh, with some decades, they will be totally unimpressed. In many cases, it will be as if you have upset their apple cart and insulted the very person that they believe themselves to be, i.e. a sick person. But fear not, there will be many who will indeed be greatly appreciative and there's enough of them to make it all worthwhile. What boost should I use? Yeah, well, that's the $64 question. Let's review here again what it is actually happening. The Olympic Arc technology is boosting directly into a person's quantum field a list of nutrients. And with any boost, there's going to be anywhere from 35 to 60 nutrients. If you boost three separate boosts, as I do, you're probably going to end up giving them a good 90 of the list of 150. I usually start out with boosting them multivitamin, stress relief, and pain relief. After that, I boost stress relief, pain relief, and strength. Depending on the symptom, I may boost over immune, and at other times, I may add allergy as one of the boosts. Here's my opinion on that. Since I don't have a clue as to what the body actually needs in the way of a particular nutrient or a series of particular nutrients, I will use different boosts and each, and after each boost, I will ask where the sub discomfort is on the scale of one to 10. If I get a quicker response with a set of three, I will boost those until the discomfort goes away. Speaking of that, after each boost, ask the person to rate their discomfort on a scale of one to 10. After that, uh, delete out the boost and reboost again, asking them each time to rate the discomfort on a scale of one to 10. I keep boosting until the symptom is gone. If I don't get any response after five or six boosts, I'll stop, but do not get discouraged if after three, nothing happens. A whole lot of times, nothing starts to decrease until after th the third or fourth boost, and then things begin to pick up. Sometimes you'll have people going down by one each boost, so just keep on going until it's all gone or real close to being gone. What I'll do when the person I'm attempting to demonstrate the awesome power of Olympic arc technology doesn't have any pain. Ah, in that case, I do a strength and balance test on them. I have them put their fist one on top of the other and have them press them tight up against their chest just above their breast area. Tell them that you're going to press down on the fist and, and while you do, they are to keep their fist tight against their chest. They are not to let their fist go down at all um, and they are not to bend over. If done correctly, they will end the tip over to the front and will notice their fists going down a bit, indicating the strength of their arms was not enough to stop you from pushing down. After that, I tell them to lock their fingers behind their back with the palm of their hands facing upward, forming a sort of a cup. I put my fist in the cup and push straight down and they will almost always tip backward. Then I boost them with a strength boost and, and then retest them and you both will be amazed at how much difference there is. At that point, just to dispel any doubt, I delete out the strength boost and retest them, and they will be back to the previous level of strength. If I see any doubt in their eyes, I boost them again and retest, and to their surprise, their strength and balance will, come, uh, will have come back. I use basically the same presentation as I do with the pain, but leave out the, the pain scale type thing. Folks, this is an exciting thing. You've got to try this. Find somebody. I don't care where they are. They can be in Europe. Uh, my understanding of quantum physics, they could be on the moon for all that matters, but um, you may want to be a little careful 
losing people on the moon uh, or even believing there are people there. But let me tell you something. You will, do not doubt me on this. You will have a lot of fun. And if the first time it doesn't happen, hey, you just, it's the luck of the draw. You're going to have probably five or six out of a hundred. But the second one you're going to do, you're going to be shocked. So do it until you get a, a, a result. And if you have any questions, certainly feel free to call me with the information I've left down below. All right, folks. See you.